Hey, I'm Andrea, and this video is about a position battle for the Atlanta Braves, and that's left field. I think there are three options for this spot, and that's Eddie Rosario, Sam Hilliard, and Jordan Luplo. And I didn't include Ozuna in this because I think of him as more of a DH. But let's start this off by going through all three of the options and then talking about who's the best fit to have that role. So starting with Rosario, he has less power than average. He has above average bat-to-ball skills, meaning his zone contact rate and strikeout rates have historically been better than average but they both did dip to below average in 2022. And then looking at his plate discipline, he has a more aggressive approach, meaning he has a historically high chase rate and a low walk rate. In terms of his fielding, Rosario is a poor defensive corner outfielder. He does have some speed, but he struggles moving to the ball really in any direction, but especially laterally, as well as back right and back left, meaning like into the gap. Sam Hilliard has plus power. He had an elite max exit view last season of 115 miles per hour. He also has above average hard hit rates. Uh, his batch of ball skills have historically been poor, so really bad zone contact rates and strikeout rates. Uh, the plate discipline is historically worse than average, but he did improve his chase rate and his walk rate in 2022, so now they're both above average. In terms of his fielding, Hilliard provides average defense in a corner outfield position. He is fast, um, and he has above average arm strength, which Baseball Savant has his 89th percentile. Jordan Luplo has below average power, but does a good job of getting the ball in the air and not hitting too many ground balls. His zone contact rate and strikeout rate, so those bat-to-ball skills, are historically worse than average. And then he has a more patient approach at the plate, um, so he has historically better chase and walk rates than average. In terms of his fielding, Luplo is an average defender in the corner outfield. He has some speed, and he has elite arm strength. That's 96th percentile per baseball savant, which was better than Hilliard's. None of the three options were incredible offensively, um, so let's look at their platoon splits to see if there's anything that sticks out here. So looking at this table, we can see that Rosario and Hilliard have much better results versus right-handed pitching, and Luplo has much better results versus left-handed pitching. So just by going off of this, I would start Luplo in left field uh, when facing a left-handed pitcher. So when facing right-handed pitchers, we're stuck between Rosario and Hilliard. As we talked about before, they have different strengths meaning Hilliard has better power than Rosario, able to walk more, but then Rosario has better bat-to-ball skills and has better uh, results over his career. As two left-handed hitters, both are likely to benefit from the shift ban. If we look at these two spray charts versus right-handed pitchers in 2022, we could see that both hit a lot of ground balls to the pull side. Without the shift, fewer of these hits will be automatic outs. My guess is that Rosario will benefit more from the shift ban because he's able to put more balls in play. He has better bat-to-ball skills. And then if we look at the spray chart, most of the balls are hit in between first and second base, which creates a hole for the ball to go through. But knowing this, teams might you know, shift as they can accordingly to try to get as many of those balls as possible. And then the other side of this argument is that Hilliard has more power, so those balls are going to be harder to field when he hits them. Um, but similarly to Rosario, teams are going to shift Hilliard as best they can. For him, it may look like uh, the fielder's playing all the way up against the outfield grass. They also might want to put the shortstop as close to that second base bag as possible, given how many balls he's hit up the middle last season. So I am torn for who should start versus right-handed pitching, but I am leaning Hilliard just because he at least provides that better defense than Rosario. So I would give Hilliard more reps to start, and then if something really doesn't go right at the plate, they still have Rosario as a backup who could fill in that role. It's also possible that they determine matchups on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, for example, the Giants last year were doing matchups based on swing path in addition to other things. But the Braves could do something like that where they could take it day by day and see which hitter has the better matchup given the pitcher they're facing. Let me know who you think should play left field for the Braves this year. And if you like this video, please hit subscribe and follow me on Twitter at Scalco Report. Thanks for watching!